I'm Chris Anderson at the EU Web Tech Lab, and today I have an evaluation board for Micrel's MIC45212, the 14 amp variant from their line of integrated medium voltage DC to DC power modules. The MIC45205, 208, and 212 modules integrate the inductor, PWM controller, power MOSFETs, and passives into the package. This integration reduces the total application size, simplifies the design and PCB layout, and improves reliability. By integrating the passives, MicroL is able to effectively reduce the AC loop size when compared to a traditional regulator with passives routed on the PCB. I spent a lot of time in the EMI lab where my device under test was performing fine, but the power supply I was using was causing me to fail the test. That's extremely costly and time consuming. These MicroL modules have been shown to pass the more stringent CISPR 22 Class B specification, removing this burden from design and reducing time to market. On the board, I have the MIC45212, which is 12 by 12 by 4 millimeters. That's about 36% less volume than competing solutions, which are at 15 by 15 by 4 millimeters. Uh, it is set to output 5 volts based on that jumper block. My load is set to draw 14 amps to push the module to its rated limit. So, if I enable my power supply, you'll see my current hits 14 amps. You'll also see there's a lot of voltage dropped through my cheap cables, which at 14 amps are are probably not ideal. Uh, my power supply says it's outputting about 78 watts. Again, there is some voltage drop through my cables. And so if this is running at five volts, which if you measure on directly on the output, you will see five volts. So if this is at five volts and 14 amps, that's about 70 watts. This is running about 78 watts. So just right there, you can see that it's about 90% efficient. Uh, the stated efficiency is about 91% or greater and based on the voltage drop I'm seeing here, that's pretty believable. Um, at lower loads, Micrel's hyper light load technology helps maintain that high efficiency. And the models are also available with Micrel's hyper speed control to provide fast transient response. You'll also notice that there's no heat sink on the module, and I don't have any airflow across it. It does get quite warm, but Micrel has enhanced the thermal transfer through improvements in their packaging, so it operates at a lower temperature than those competing solutions. So that's Micrel's MIC45212. There's also the 45208 and the 45205. And there are models that provide a DC to DC conversion solution that improves time to market and reduces total design size and complexity.